Help support the companies that support our community. After I brought it down a little bit with the detail gouge, I went ahead and pulled the tail stock away and cleaned up the bottom with the number one hollower. So when you're doing something like this, it's just in there with the, with the tenon on the lid, so take nice light little cuts. You could put quite a bit of pressure on it in the center, but as you get to the outside of it, that's where if you put too much pressure on the outside, that's when it'll pop out of the tenon, so just be careful there. So I just went ahead and cleaned it up got down and got that little point out of the center or the little hole from the live center out and then went ahead and started sanding it. I normally run through a, at least a grit or two dry before I start using the oil. So I went ahead and ran through uh, two grits on this one 
dry sanding it and that way if there's any you know little tool marks or some torn grain or anything you can get it out dry sanding it because if they're in there too deep and you maybe have to use the the sanding pad on the drill it's a mess if you're trying to do it with the with the oil already on it so that's why i do that so went ahead and finished up with that and then switched over and uh, again on this one i used the howard's beeswax and orange oil i just love the way it brings out the richness of the wood this and the walnut oil that i use i just i love the, this type of finish i'm not a big fan of the the high gloss so what i do is just put this on go ahead and, and run through the rest of the grits all the way up to 600 and it just puts the finish on while you're sanding it and it captures all that sanding dust After I got it all sanded up, I went ahead and just wiped the excess oil off, popped it out of the, the lid there, and went ahead and parted the lid off. So I went ahead and just used the, the Easy Wood parting tool, came in with that and popped the lid off, and then used the um, jaws, just expanded the jaws to hold it in there. It holds it really nice. Just make sure you don't put too much pressure on it when you open it up. This one is was kind of a, a thicker style lid, so it's not real critical, but if you have one that's really thin on the walls, make sure you just put a little bit of pressure on it. So when I put that in there, finish turning the top of the lid. After dry sanding through a couple of grits, I went ahead and started applying the oil and it ran all the way up to 600. So there it is. So a couple little things. Um, so what I do is, you notice I didn't put oil on the inside of the lid or the, the tenon right here. And the reason I do that is because after you turn this, there's a lot of stress on the wood. So I take it in the house, I let it sit in there for a couple of days, and I let the wood all relax and go back to normal because it really heats it up and it just kind of puts moisture into it so the wood will shrink a little bit so that's why i make the tenons tight when i when i'm turning it and that way when i pull it off they pop right back on and off so that's why i do that do that part of it and then i just went ahead and applied a little bit of uh, the howards to the inside and the lip and everything but there it is it's uh, out of maple it is about five in or five inches tall and three and a half inches in diameter so the reason i wanted to do this was um i'm doing a lidded box class uh, tomorrow on saturday the 23rd i will have a link down below in the description if you want to sign up for that we're going to do a couple different styles of boxes it'll be a few hours long but i'll have all the details down there and if you're not able to attend you can still sign up for it and i'm going to record the whole thing so you'll be able to watch it anytime you want but I love turning lidded boxes and this one is out of maple I believe I got this piece from Mark down in Albany so thank you very much Mark I think it's one of the ones you gave me when we were down there in fact that was the last live demo we did I believe it was in April last April <laughs> uh, but thanks again Mark all right if you have any questions about anything just leave them down in the comments i read and answer all the questions and, and if there's anything else you're looking for in the video i always have the description have all the links down in the description all right hope you have a great weekend talk to you soon